Good morning. This is Kerry with another highly anticipated video from the highly regarded Schmidt House YouTube channel. Uh, here this morning we're going to be working out in our chicken coop. Uh, some time back we, we did a video on assembly of our hen gear roll away nesting box and we just haven't had a chance to get it installed well, we've had a problem in our coop with something getting our eggs and we just have not been able to catch whatever it is uh, we've had traps in there cameras in there a lot of pictures of a squirrel inside the coop uh, we've had a lot of pictures of a coon trying to get in the coop but we cannot figure out if it's actually just the chickens breaking their own eggs and eating them or something getting them. We've tried putting the, the fake eggs in there to try to deter it. Uh, so I don't know what's going on there. There's a cat back there. Um, we tried several different things and we're not having any luck. So we're going to put this roll away nesting box, install it. And I think I'm going to close up their other coop with their other nesting box. Uh, put their food and water inside this coop, the new new coop that we built. Uh, maybe they'll maybe that'll help them start going in there and laying their eggs. Hopefully, um, we had a loss last week. We had a one chicken die, Americana. It was 109 degrees that day, and that particular chicken. We don't know how old she was. Uh, my wife brought her, brought that chicken with her when she moved down to the Central Texas area from the Houston area back in 2016. She she wasn't sure how old the chicken was then. Uh, she hadn't laid eggs in a long time, but you know, we just kept feeding her. We had kind of a sentimental sentimental deal with her. She was a very good good chicken. She actually hatched out a couple of hens a few years back that she she sat on when she got broody. She's the only chicken we've had that ever did that. So so we lost her, but that's one less mouth to feed, I guess. We're going to go ahead and get this, this feeder put in or this nesting box put in and see if we have some luck with the chickens using it. So what I've done inside of here, I've installed these two vertical pieces of leftover uh, fencing that I had to screw these. These clips will screw down to that, and then the box just hooks into them. It'll hook. It'll just hook into them. Uh, I'm gonna put these further down here to try to get the nesting box so the little roosting peg on there will be approximately I don't know 14 15 inches from the ground uh, if I need to I can put a block or something down below it to, you know, if that's a little too high for the chickens to get up on but I think it should work so I have the the nesting box in here in place it was pretty pain free pretty simple uh, this up so the chickens will lay their eggs back in there. They'll roll down into here. With this bottom part. Or that's the idea where they can't get to them to peck on them. But what I'm going to have to do is put a fake egg up in there. And I'm going to have to secure it in there with a piece of wire or something. You can actually, with these hand gear boxes, there's an optional piece you can get. It's one of the fake eggs with a little wire on it or chain that attaches in there. Uh, we didn't get that because we already had ordered some of the fake eggs to try to deter what was ever getting our eggs in our other coop. So we, I figured I could just uh, use one of those, attach it in there somehow. Anyhow, while I was in here working on this, I turned around and back here in the corner, there's four eggs. So, for whatever reason, some of the chickens 
aren't laying in their other coop anymore and it's maybe because something in their, they know something is getting their eggs. So that's a good sign that maybe they will start using this nesting box. I think had I seen those eggs there earlier, I would have put the coop in this or the nesting box over in this corner. Uh, but I think they'll start going in there. Uh, they tell me that this red curtain here is supposed to attract them, get them to go in there. We'll, we'll just see how that works. I'll have to say, my wife Andrea is the most organized person I've ever met. You know, I'm somewhat of a hoarder. And I'll get stuff and it'll end up going out in the shed and thrown on a pile or in a bucket and you know, little screws and leftovers and things like this. Uh, but not my wife Andrea. She, she uh, keeps everything so organized. She's got these little boxes. Actually, she uses them for fishing tackle, and that's probably, I don't know if that's what they're for, because she loves to fish. She's got all these little boxes. She's got a few more here. Uh, and anytime we buy some kind of something, and they'll have little screws, leftover stuff like this, that a lot of people would just throw away, she keeps it. And look what's in here chain this is perfect to attach the egg to attach that egg to the, to the crate in there and as we look through here in this box look what she's got there perfect drill a hole in one of the eggs screw that in there attach it with the little chain and We've got it. And I don't know what I'd do without her. I know what I'd do without her. I'd be going up to Ace Hardware spending more money on something that I probably have piled up out in the shed and just can't find. Um, yeah, I really appreciate her. She's pretty awesome. So I'm going to go ahead and drill a hole in here, try to drill a hole in here. And put one of those little eye, eye bolts in there. Andrea, when she gets something like this, she takes it out of the package very carefully so she doesn't tear it, so she can keep the rest of it in there. Me, I just rip the top off of it and then everything goes everywhere, but it's another reason she's organized and I'm not. I need to figure out a way to attach, attach some of this, and I'll be right back. So I have a helper. Hey, Millie, are you the one eating the eggs? I know you like eggs. Is that you? I wouldn't doubt it. Anyway, I got the chain on here now. What I did, I just took a screwdriver and opened up the little link there a little bit. Slipped it on there and took some pliers and squeezed it shut. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this little, little piece of wire I have. And I'm going to wire it to the grate that's underneath the, uh, underneath the lane box. And stick it through the the little carpet, plastic carpet fabric, and then tie it to the chain, cut off the excess, and that should 
that should work. I probably just could have used wire and not even used a piece of chain, but you know, I had it and I'll use it. Not, or I could just open up the link on here and wire it to the, and then just open up the link on this chain. I could put it on that metal grate, but it wouldn't be one of my projects if I wasn't using wire somewhere. So I'll get that wired in there and I'll be happy about it. And there's our egg. Looking good. May not be installed to manufacturer's recommendations, but I don't think that's going anywhere. Hope y'all, hope all of you enjoyed this, especially if you're one of the 15 people that are probably going to look at this video. And hope you learned something. Thank you. Uh, please like it and subscribe if you do like it. Appreciate it. From the Schmidt House.